my grandmother saying because my i mean obviously my grandmother also lived in that kind of a yeah, uh, surrounding she, yeah. Was, she she i remember her she actually her house used to be in middle of the valley so she was yeah. surrounded by nature there were plants and, and nature plants and, 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 and yeah she yeah. used to tell me the same thing you know this is the season for this this next yeah. is the season for this and also there were so many stories about the birds because there are certain birds if you listen to that if that particular sound is heard then there will be a news of death yeah. will coming soon so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, not only migrating there are certain types of owls and uh, all mm. so if you happen to listen to their cries one day then the next day there will be a death message coming from somewhere that is a type oh, of a yeah that is a type of legends in the, the superstitions yeah, that they have yeah, superstitions and all but the thing is that they knew the sound of these birds they knew the bird they knew where it is sitting when it they is crying they could identify the bird they, with the yeah, sound with yeah, the sound yeah that was there and uh, same is the case with the uh, plants also but today what we are what is happening is we are confined to our urban flats and uh, okay, houses and all and we cannot see the plants there also the uh, fauna is not there so when you are coming back to nature because see there is a food web mm. around us mm. and all these birds are part of that food web and from uh, this microbes in the soil to the birds to the man or to the people to the bird, yeah, yeah it is it is going in a cycle yeah. so what we are doing is we are cutting off certain uh, chain uh, links of that of web. the food cycle uh. and then we are saying that uh, we are trying to supplement it with uh, artificial maybe fertilizers or chemicals or uh, that is not working that is what we are seeing but uh, we have started that those experiments only last 100 years ago but now it is another uh, maybe 100 years and maybe in another 100 years it will be the we will be uh, facing the dangers of these things very seriously still we are already we are we have started uh, facing them mm. but it will be much more severe in the next for the next generation of the in the next century or something so to okay again come back to our topic so this was something missing Uh, something nostalgic for us of uh, people of my generation so uh, there's only one solution you have to plant it again, plant again and yeah. where to plant because the the price of the land is very high in the city area you cannot go and buy 100 or uh, maybe 100 cents or uh, 50 cents there so i came to a village like area where there is there are so many inconveniences there is no water there is no road proper road uh, electricity is there but it is not guaranteed like in the city but today there is a solution for everything you can have a simple solar unit there and get it so solved you can have a pump and uh, get the water so most of these things have solutions also but uh, you will have some inconvenience when you are staying away from the city mm. but uh, when you take your life in a, when i mean the busy part of my life is over mm. so it is something like a resting period and uh, i can enjoy nature here and i can do those type of things here so that's why i came here and uh, i started planting here but none of those planting methods worked because this is not a normal area this is barren land this is a rocky land mm. and there is no water at all so whatever we plant here that will be gone within next one or two years so continuously i was planting for 10 years every year i planted some 500 saplings here all of them uh, i mean around 50 or 40 of them came up, came up. but after one or two or three years it will also go because there will be a drought in every three years uh-huh. the, the, the cycle is like that so it will be there for two three years then slowly it will vanish So for 10 years I played this cat and mouse game and then I heard about Miyawaki model. And Miyawaki model I found it very interesting because one of the major problems of uh, Miyawaki model in those days that is 6 uh, years back 6 7 years back there was not much material in English. Okay. Whatever uh, Miyawaki has written and published were in Japan, Jap- Japanese, Japanese language and also his book was in Japanese language. And uh, interestingly his book was uh, uh, i mean uh, 70 editions of his book came out in japanese language but in english language only one edition came out. Uh, what happened is this book is not solely on uh, afforestation it is actually on eco restoration so he is highlighting the issues of this uh, using chemicals fertilizers and all those things naturally the chemical and fertilizers lobby they have kidnapped Put the it book up, yeah. it didn't come up only one edition is there so getting a copy of the book was also very difficult. very difficult so i got one and i got some videos uh, probably one by shubhendu sharma where he was explaining all these things he was the person to do this for the first time in india i think because uh, miyawaki professor miyawaki himself came and did this in bangalore in for toyota toyota brought him here and they did it there so shubhendu sharma was an employee of uh, toyota at that time he was an industrial engineer he copied it from there and he propagate started propagating it from him i got it Uh, okay. through his ted talk and all and i uh, uh, what i did is i did uh, follow his method at the same time i got the book i tried to uh, understand what 
uh, Miyawaki said and uh, then my next endeavor was to meet Professor Miyawaki. So, I tried to contact him. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to get an appointment with him. I went there, I saw him, I interacted with him and I also got a permission to translate his book into my language, Malayalam. Yeah. So, that's amazing. That is, a, that is a part of the story and uh, naturally we got some direct input from him. I okay. was able to see what they have done because uh, my major doubt was that I am doing this Miyawaki model of forestation and what will happen after 50 years. Hmm. So, because this is a short term, it is okay, 3 years it is growing well and uh, there is very good result. Good but result. what is the result after 50 years? So, I wanted to convince myself that uh, this is a working method because uh, I have somebody is investing money in it and then they should not chase me. Hmm. So, I, I, I saw the Miyawaki forest there, he had planted there in 1970 in the Nippon uh, Steel Corporation mm. in the Yokohama University and there was a, forgot the name of that school, there is a school, next, uh, there is a rocky area next to a school okay. and he has planted them in the rocks itself. So, that has come out very well. So, I saw all those forests and so this that… this was after you brought this land? I know this was uh, after few, uh, see I bought this land in 2007, okay. up to 2016 I was doing only conventional forestation. Okay. In 16 I heard of Miyawaki model, in 17 I uh, learned about it and in 18 I planted Eight it. it planted and 19 I went to Japan. Japan and that's and, uh, where you found yeah, this yeah. rocky Then I found this forest go doing well there Then came back and uh, started propagating Miyawaki model. Yeah, okay. So, uh, another question was, you know, I was thinking when you were talking about this and you said that, you know, if, uh, you start planting something and then it withered off, some, some stayed, some didn't su uh, sustain. So, how, how much time does it take, you know, or, you know, how long should someone, you know, uh, maintain this or put, put in time and effort to, to create a Miyawaki yeah, forest? Create a Miyawaki yeah. forest. Actually, your question is a very good question because that is the biggest advantage of Miyawaki model mm. because you need not have to maintain it after three years. Okay. The time suggested is three years, but there is a there is a difference because in normal uh, plantation you are going and planting saplings which you bought from the nursery. Mm. In Miyagi model you have to keep them in your own nursery, mm. you have to replant them, uh, report them in a grow bag which mm. is uh, slightly bigger. Okay. Because normal grow bags are there maybe uh, 6 inches or mm. a, uh, say th uh, t uh, 10 centimeters or something, but we want around uh, 75 centimeter high, uh, sorry, see, uh, uh, 45 centimeter high mm. grow bag, which is around uh, one and a half feet and the diameter should be around uh, 8 inches, which is 20 centimeter. That means 3 to 5 liters of material can be put in it, that means the potting mixture. Okay. So, you make a good potting mixture with soil, uh, bio organic material and uh, some wood chips and also uh, the coir pith. The okay. coir organic material you mean? Organic material is some of uh, this uh, either compost mm. or the cow dung or the goat droppings okay. because this for the manure yeah. and also this uh, coir pith for storing the water Sorry. and wood chip for uh, uh, keeping the soil uh, better because otherwise uh, it will become sticky. So, uh, wood chips can uh, sort out that issue. Okay. So, with soil these three components should be added equally and uh, you can make a potting mixture and uh, add that potting mixture to your grow bag, mm. then put the sapling there. So, the, within three months the sapling will get a very good growth mainly for the roots. The, roots. the root will be fully developed. So, when you are planting a normally a sapling, mm. you are always taking care of the leaves, the uh, stem and everything, mm -hmm. but you are never concerned about the roots. Yeah, never concerned about the yeah, roots. Yeah, the roots is the most, most important, important part because if there is no yeah. healthy root, then the plant cannot grow fast. Correct. Secondly, when you are putting the sapling in the soil, that area should be dug and you should remove the uh, stones and all those things there and put the same potting mixture there. Mm. So, that will help the uh, roots to go f grow fast in the root. Once it gets fixed to the uh, uh, soil, mm. then it can go anywhere. Go anywhere. Then, it, then it can even drill the rock or go through the small holes and uh, get water from wherever and all those things can be done. So, in Miyawaki forest when we are putting these things together, mm. then this uh, that itself will give the uh, uh, plants a special feeling because uh, there are different types of uh, plants, different types of roots, different ty uh, types of um, this um, uh, in, uh, Microbes. microbes. So, it is a very uh, for almost a forest like environment there. Mm. And the second thing in Miyawaki model of forestation is mulching. So, you have to give mulch. I mean, uh, tri leaves can be used as mulch or wood chips can be used as mulch. There should be at least 15 centimeter to 
30 centimeter thick of uh, mulch in the forest. The layer has, yeah, to, be that layer has to be created. Because the advantage of that, uh, it, it is a forest like situation. Okay. In the forest, there are uh, dry leaves and uh, these uh, uh, dry woods and all, yeah. which will uh, create that, uh, the, uh, yeah, that, create uh, that bud. Uh, and under that bud, all these uh, small creatures can grow. Mm. And they eat the uh, dry leaves and uh, mix it with the soil. and Earthworms can grow there. Mm. Earthworms can play a major role in yeah, it because no, uh, yeah. yeah, because the earthworms always bring the topsoil uh, down from there, and mm. also the holes created by earthworms can help in uh, bringing oxygen to the soil. Oxygen. Uh, uh, can avoid water logging. Water will be see if there is rain, if there is a rain in one area, in the if there are sufficient earthworms, mm. the water will be more water will be absorbed in that absorbed area in itself. Uh, otherwise, it will be waterlogging and uh, then it will yeah. go out. Right. So, earthworms are important, then these uh, centipedes are important, sorry, millipedes. Millipedes. millipedes are there and they are eating the uh, dry leaves and all those creatures are contributing for the soil. Mm. So, that mulching should be there. So, if these two things are there, then within three years this forest will reach some sort of a maturity.